butcher, cutting a loin strip into New York steaks. When we open this up, just cut open the top of the plastic, lift the loin out of the plastic, and that way the blood will stay in the bottom of the bag and not go all over the block. Dry the loin off a little bit. Dry your cutting area. We start with the meat side up on the loin. We're going to be trimming off this bone sinew first, just very lightly, not getting in to the actual loin itself. Just getting the bone sinew only. Next, on this end of the loin, about three stakes down, there's a piece of gristle that lies right here we take off, and that's all gristle. We turn the loin over, we, st st we stick it to the block. We're going to be cutting these steaks an inch and a quarter thick today. We're going to start off with facing off the loin. You can see by the just membership of the first steak how we need to face it. Trim the fat off that, grind that for extra length. Now we're going to be cutting this loin into one and a quarter inch steaks. Stuck to the block. Face off the end. Set the loin up to your right. We're going to be trimming here, setting the steaks off over here after they're trimmed. Normally we recommend a boning knife to trim these with. The very first steak off the loin comes off the porterhouse end. If it was a T-bone, it would be a short loin. This is the New York steak in a T-bone and it goes from the porterhouse end to the club to the club end. So we'll start off on the very first steak. Notice that we've taken the gristle off already, and we're going to leave a quarter inch fat around the steak itself. Turning it over, sec checking the other side, and that looks fine. Steak number two, quarter inch fat, turning it over, maybe a little bit fatty here. When I cut this fat off, I'm going to cut it an angle so I don't get into the flesh of the loin on this side. So just a slight little angle to the side. Now it has a quarter inch fat. Steak number three, same thing. Quarter inch trim. Turning it over, a little heavy here, a little piece of gristle here. Take that fat off. When I remove this gristle, I don't want to get into the flesh of the loin, just that piece of gristle. Steak number four, they're looking better and better as they go down. Taking off that little gristle, staying out of the loin, trimming. Now we're just going to push it along and go real time. On the tail, we want to leave about a one to one and a half finger tail on the stakes, cutting down at a 45 degree angle on the tail. The tail, about one finger away, staying out of the loin. strip, cut into New York steaks, 
Today on the Butcher, Todd Barnhouse. Cut. Let's see how to come out. Yeah, cut. Yeah.